Kia ora guys, good afternoon and welcome back to the Black Jersey. It's your boy Max, I'm the host of this channel and today we've got big news. Warren Gatland back in his Wales coach and he's announced his squad for the 2023 Six Nations with Ken Owens the hooker being named as his captain. This is going to be um, a real recall to the old days where Wales were far more successful after a bit of a dark era with three years of Wayne Pivak. A big thank you always goes to my patrons over on Patreon and I'll just remind my new viewers if you like my content to give me a subscribe and like this video if you enjoy what I'm doing. So over at Hookers of course we start off Ken Owens is the captain and um, it's a bit of a risk, but you know what? It's better than selecting Dan Bigger. Um, Ken Owens does a very good temperament. He talks to referees well, and he keeps his discipline. He's probably not the player he once was, as he has had a few injuries, but with a lot of experience under his belt, I can kind of see what Gatlin's going for, as he probably hasn't had enough time to identify a long-term successor for Dan Bigger, who's just been injured. The other hookers, though, a bit low in experience. Dewey Lake was in Wayne Pivak's squad for a wee while. He's 23 years old and has eight test caps, so he's clearly seen as the successor. Bradley Roberts is the third choice. Um, the jury's probably still out on him for me. Um, I'm not much of a fan of his. He's 27 years old, three caps, but you know, you do need someone in there as the third choice, so you've just got to go for someone who's old enough to be trusted for a World Cup, I guess. Over to the props, Reese Carey, 24 years old, 17 test caps. He he hasn't quite kicked on as I thought he would, but as he was the youngest member of the 2019 World Cup squad for Wales, um, I guess Gatlin's trying to pick up where things left off and bring him back to some decent form. Leon Brown, been in the mix for a wee while, bit of a, uh, but hopefully Gatlin being back and having a decent game plan will fire him up a bit. Tom Francis, very experienced, 30 years old, 67 test caps. He was always going to get involved. Gatlin loves having his on-field leaders, particularly in the forward pack, and there's no better player to do that than Tom Francis. Wynn Jones, the best prop in the squad. He was their best player a few years ago, and um, he's been in some better form recently as well. Um, I'm very excited to see him get back to his best in the Gatlin era. Dylan Lewis... Um, pretty good off of the bench. Jury's, I guess, still out for him on me, though, after the PVAC era. Didn't really see him achieve all too much, much like a lot of the other players. Gareth Thomas, the second. Um, it's a very common name over in Wales, yes, I know. Um, 17 test caps, 29 years old. Perhaps you could look at another new player instead of him, but Wales, being a small country, I guess, don't really have that luxury. We go into the locks. Adam Beard was always going to get selected. Adam Beard is going to be crazy crucial for the reintegration of Gatlin back into Wales and he's going to be crucial for a Welsh resurgence that could potentially happen. Um, the other locks we have David Jenkins, 20 years old, one test cap. Um, he looks very promising to me indeed. Um, coming out of Exeter as well, so very interesting to see the Premiership is um, allowing some Welsh players to get a bit of an early start. Um, I've kind of started to notice that, eh? um, considering Reese Zamet came through Gloucester. Anyway, Alan Wynne-Jones, 37 years old, 155 for Wales, 12 for the Lions. I'm starting to think that, you know what, he's just going to keep on playing and his record is never going to get broken at this stage. Um, perhaps someone like Marcos Kramer could do it. Michael Hooper might not want to retire. Maybe Itzabeth can, but... It's going to be a massively challenging feat to overcome, especially considering one of the possible um, climbers up there, Tom Curry, is injured right now. Um, Teddy Williams, who's uncapped at lock, not too familiar with him, but we'll see how he goes. He's coming out of the Cardiff Blues. Um, Cardiff have produced a lot of very good players through their history, so hopefully he's going to be next out of that bunch. Talupi Felatau in the back row now, 95 test caps, 32 um, years old. Um, he's got a lot of experience under his belt. He was one of the few shining lights for Wales under PVAC. I put him in last year's Six Nations team of the tournament for very good reasons. And um, I'm going to trust him to do a good job in the Gatland era now that it's back again. Jack Morgan in there, very promising as well. Can say the same for Tommy Riffle, a real up-and-comer there as well. Justin Tipperick. 
Surprised to see he wasn't considered for captain as well, but at 33 years old with 89 test caps for Wales, um, he's definitely going to be good for the youngsters to learn off as well um, as we go back to the fact that Wales don't have the huge luxury of a um, big talent pool. Christ Shiyunza, the 21-year-old seven who can also cover lock with three test caps. I just want to see him get more game time. Um, I'm very excited about the future he's got. Uh, Aaron Wainwright back in the mix as well, 25 years old, 36 six tests man now that is some talent right there hopefully he can be back to his best at well um, I'd love to see him starting at six with Tipperick at seven and Falatau at eight um, I'd kind of prefer to see Shionza at lock but We'll see how things go. To the backs, um, Kieran Hardy's back in the mix as well. 27 years old, 16 test caps. Um, a pretty decent backup player. But Reese Webb, are you serious? Why do Wales selectors just keep going to him over and over and over again? He just always has such staccatos of caps coming all at once. Then a while without them. Then after like two years, he gets another 10 or something like that. Um, Webb is currently on 36 and he's 34 years old. Um, to be honest, I probably wouldn't have gone to select him, but with Gareth Davis out, perhaps they just needed the experience. Um, tell you what though, Thomas Williams, he's in fine form right now, hoping he's going to do some delivery off the base of the scrum at quick pace. 40 tests now as well for a 28 year old, so not too bad either. Um, Dan Bigger at 10. With Gareth Anscombe injured, I'd say he's likely going to get a fair bit of game time as well. Probably going to do a fair bit of kicking. Reese Patchell, the 29-year-old with 21 test caps though, perhaps it's time to let him go. He hasn't really improved as a defender since he was a youngster. Um, Owen Williams, 30 years old with three caps as well. This is a bit of a space where I think it would be far better to um, go for the youngsters, but I think that Gatland is simply just trying to get everything back in the groove by using his experience and he's going to go for youngsters from there. Um, Warren Gatlin knows what he's doing and maybe the fact that he had too much inexperience back in the Chiefs is kind of making him realise actually I need to get the perfect balance between a lot of caps and not a lot of caps. Mason Grady, who I haven't heard of a centre from Cardiff, just 20 years old, um, hopefully he's going to be a real pocket rocket for the Welsh. Um, Joe Hawkins as well with just one test, he's also 20. That could be a very good uh, midfield combo in the future, hopefully, considering they're both so young. Um, I'm really excited to see what they can both bring it into the table, and uh, hopefully they get a lot of game time as well. Um, George Northen at centre. I'd probably think um, he's a bit too slow for wing these days, so it's sensible to play him at centre, as long as he is indeed with Nick Tompkins at 12, because you do need a bit more of a kicking option inside George North if you're going to use him to burn people on the outside and run them over. Um, Josh Adams over at wing, yes. Um, Kieran Williams at centre, happy that someone else is there to take um, Adams' place, because honestly... Adams at centre was a disaster. I'm happy to see him at wing where he's going to be at his destructive best. Alex Cuthbert, very good under the high ball, very good power runner. Hopefully they've just got a better kicker at 14 to go alongside Alex Cuthbert. Rio Dyer though, man he has got some talent, very happy to see him. Same with Louis Reese Zemmett, 21 years old with more caps than his age with 22. Um, he'll be their MVP for the season no doubt. I'm very excited to see him um, get a decent coach and finally just wreak havoc on his opponents. Lee Halfpenny and Liam Williams round out the team and it is that spine once again where we see Gatland go for a lot of experience. It's the same first five halfback and number eight in hooker so clearly that's the way he wants to do it. He wants to use an experienced spine and um, an experienced lot of a starting 15 all to be there at training with his future youngsters who he's got there waiting in the wings to give game time in 2024 and they'll effectively be his second choice players at this World Cup so he can use it as a trial run for 2027 but before that they have a six nations to look forward to and I'm very excited to see if they can improve or not with Gatlin being one of the greatest coaches of all time I have no doubt he will resume his status as king of the counter Thank you very much for watching this video guys. I'm going to go edit it now. Um, best of luck to Wales for the Six Nations as well. And I will see you later. Cheers guys.